Hey guys, welcome back to Waters Family Homestead. All right. We'll do one more look at the finished product as far as what I was changing on the chicken pens. I still have one more idea that I may change later, but that doesn't mean adding more fence. That means moving fence, and that's a whole lot more work. So let me show y'all what I got. So as the last couple videos show y'all or showed y'all i moved the fence that went from here to here and put it to this post i put in built a gate got it fenced in got this done i've got the end cut the excess wire cut off added a piece of wire to go across there where the 12 foot gate was i've still got to move that 12 foot gate I have no idea what i'm gonna do with it for right now but i can't leave it laying there so i'll get it moved I've thrown some more scratch out to the chickens. They enjoy the scratch. I can throw layer pellets out there and they'll run to it and then they peck a little bit and then they run off and go back to scratching wherever else. But um, I'm pleased with it. I've got the actual nails nailed on the wire in the fence and down this post. It's tight, as tight as I can get it. And uh, I've got that as tight as I can get it. It's got a little wave to it, but that's because of the wire, not because I, I didn't pull it. I pulled it pretty doggone tight. I pulled it hard enough to put a long screwdriver through one end and pulled it each section that I was nailing until I broke the wire in several spots and I had to re-grab. So it's pulled as tight as it's going to go. But it's just separating chickens and turkeys anyway. It's not that big a deal. But... The chickens are enjoying this new little area that's got grass on it. And uh, one day I may actually, you know, once the goat fencing is done, I may add another gate to the backside and turn them loose into the goat pasture or on the end, something like that. Um, that would not be a bad thing. They will go through the goat fencing, but pretty much they'll stay in the fence area. Um, we'll just see how bad the goats chew it up once I get goats, of course. But this will be garden area. So my plan, and I've, I've planted a garden back here many times, all the way from here down even with that cedar tree. And it's about, I don't know, 50 by 80 or something. And I've been pushing the wood line further and further back trying to make it a little bigger i want to take that pine tree down so that and dig it up so that it won't be in the way and i can keep going that direction with the garden but for years i had my chicken pen back here my eight by eight the middle section up here was mobile on skids and i'd take my lawnmower or my tractor and just move it to a fresh spot back and forth where i where the garden was and uh that all that nitrogen really helped that soil but it still compacts because all i have is hard red clay there is no sand here there is no loom or any of that you know dark soil there's none of that unless i dig it out of the woods which is full of weeds so planting a garden here has just never been something i've been very successful i can't grow any root crops potatoes sweet potatoes white potatoes red potatoes whatever I can't grow any root crops. The ground gets too hard and it can't grow. So that's why I put that carport frame up. I want to trim it out with one by twos, cover it with plastic, build walls on each end, turn that into a greenhouse. And I've already bought, I think I've got 10 grow bags in there, some seven gallons and some 10 gallons that I'm going to put in there and, and do raised beds down one side. That'll be plenty for me to grow for myself and still put some food up. So that's the idea. But I'm, I'm pleased with the fencing right now. This is a lot tighter than it used to be since made adjustments to it. The dogs have beat it pretty good when the times or two they've got in. But they've stretched it and there's just a whole not a whole lot I can do about it. I plan on running goat fencing down this side and all the way down the front side 
and across the front if I have enough left when I'm done with the goat pen. I'm not gonna do that till after. So, one big project done, and y'all know that I've finished the goat fencing several weeks back, month back, something like that. Added the electric fence, and then we've changed this fencing around. This is a whole lot tighter. When you move it, it's a lot tighter. It's got some wave to it, but the fence itself is tight. So um, that's the best I can do right now. The, the loosest section now is this, where the dogs beat the crap out of it. And the only way for me to tighten that up, really, would be to cut it and, or at least cut it at one end and re-pull. Take it loose from the T-post, re-pull the fence and tighten it up. And that, that'd take a couple of people. I'm not trying that by myself. But that may be a project that can be doable. But taking it down and putting in more posts and stuff, I don't think that's in the, in the plans no time soon. But it's working out really well. The fence, the electric fence, is, whew, as old folks say, hot as a firecracker. It will light you up. So it got me through my shirt the other day when I was working on this gate. And uh, it'll, it'll light you up, trust me. Through my shirt made me get off of it. But um, I, I'm still thinking on the electric fence that I will probably... I've got a eight foot ground rod up there. I may cut it in half and drive it in the ground up here where the fence charger is. Cause you can, it's solar. I, I can put it anywhere. You just take the alligator clip and clip it to the wire and it's hot. But that's the best place to get sunshine here. So um, I, I may put a ground rod in the ground there and, and, and attach my ground to that instead of the T post. Cause it would go much deeper in the ground get a better ground which means I get better shock but we'll see <clears throat> but it's it's coming along I appreciate you guys sticking with me and watching the videos comment and hitting thumbs up all that good YouTube stuff and uh, you know that works on rumble too so you know y'all hit the like button on rumble and uh, share my videos when you can and if possible get you the rumble app it's absolutely free just like YouTube is and uh, help me grow the Rumble channel over there. It's the same name, same logo, all of that. It's just a whole lot better platform than YouTube. The only reason people still use YouTube, including myself, is because it is so huge. There's so many people on there. The views are much, much higher. But you know what? Rumble's a lot better platform. They're still growing Rumble. They're still making improvements. Every time they do updates, it seems like it gets a little bit better. But Rumble is the place for, that I think people need to go. Now, for gun, gun channels and stuff, there is a platform out there. I don't remember what the app's called. But um, for gun channels that people are moving to. But, y'all, when you got a platform that's just starting up and it's only got 20 or 30 million people using it versus 300 million for YouTube. You just don't get the views and the, you know, the interest that you do on YouTube. But I do appreciate it if y'all want to go to Rumble. I think they've got 75 or 80 million people. They're growing and growing fast. And uh, if y'all go over there and watch my videos, I would appreciate it and subscribe. I think I've only got 24 or 25 followers over there. But uh, I appreciate it. I just want to do a, a video showing what all's done. It is 100% as far as the fencing goes and uh, for what I plan to do anyway. So uh, I appreciate it. If there's y'all got some ideas, you know, where I can change something, make something better, then, you know, by all means, leave me a comment. Tell me about it. Uh, my email's in the About Me section. Send me an email. That's fine. I'll, I'll answer whatever. <laughs> Look how pretty that, that, that Tom Turkey is. He's not missing any tail feathers. Or at least up top he's not. The other one's missing a bunch. But anywho, I appreciate you guys. Y'all remember what I always tell you. Jesus Christ loves you and so do I. Y'all be safe. Be prepared.